Hey, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on my Instagram on YouTube series. Thank you so much for watching. As you can tell, I'm still on my low budget phase. So if you would like to support me, let me know and I will upgrade my production quality. Anyways, today's video is on a post I made regarding a quote from Tim Ferriss. And Tim Ferriss is an author, for those of you who don't know. His 15 minutes of fame kind of came in the earlier part of the last decade, as far as I'm aware. Um, I think he published the 4-Hour Work Week in the late 2000s, but I've heard about it in 2011 when I was at West Point in school and this was back you know when the internet was still picking up steam social media is not the way that it is now YouTube uh, Facebook Instagram all these things weren't the way that it is now and digital being a digital nomad wasn't as popular as it is now and he kind of to me was a maverick in this regard in kind of defining the new rich um, in terms of time and location freedom, uh, geo arbitrage, so making Western money, but living in a less expensive place like Thailand or South America and helping your money go further uh, by being strategic in this regard and kind of just being your own boss in this new age of economic, what would you call it? Equalization or just the, there's more and more opportunity to kind of be an entrepreneur and to do your own thing and, and get out of the corporate uh, system that most people, that was the main route for most people previously. And, you know, reading this book in my early 20s helped shape a lot of the decisions, helped make me realize that, hey, yeah, this is the kind of lifestyle that I would like to live. I do want to work off my own schedule. I do want to have time and location freedom. And I am not really that materialistic. I don't really need the nice car and the big house, you know, what I want is to be able to live on my own terms. And, you know, Tim Ferriss really paved the way in that regard in making this something that was much more pos possible. And although I am still, funnily enough, on that route, um, and although it's been a long journey for me to figure out exactly what I want to do and, and uh, what how I want to live my life, this book and, and Tim Ferriss as an author really shaped, shaped a lot of my thinking uh, through much of my 20s. And what I wanted to share was a particular passage that he has, I don't know specifically in which book, he has several bestsellers. But essentially he just talks about the people that we look up to and how they're just they're just people at the end of the day. And, you know, for someone like him who was a best-selling author, angel investor, you know, kind of had a lot of things on his resume, he mentions that, you know, he is like the average person in a lot of ways. And he just was able to pick up some good systems, good beliefs, good habits that helped him with his success. And a lot of the superheroes that we think about or that we look up to, you know, eventually we get to a certain age where we realize that they are all just people. You know, even the philosophers or writers and thinkers of previous ages, you know, we, we can eventually grow to see them as flawed human beings with their own issues, with their own wounds uh, that shaped a lot of their perspectives. And so it's just a kind of a comforting reminder that we know we all get down sometimes. We all have rough moments. Even the best of the best feel this way sometimes. And to 
to do, and he warns us not to overestimate the world and underestimate ourselves because we are all better than we think. And due to the collective insecurity of the world, doing the unrealistic is often easier than doing the realistic. The most competition is in the middle of the pack, doing the realistic things. And Brendan Bouchard, who's kind of this life coach guru type guy, following the footsteps of Tony Robbins, also echoed a similar sentiment in sharing and asking, why not you? Why not me? So, you know, the reason why I wanted to share this today was because it is something that I try to keep in mind and integrate into my life that, you know, it's okay to take things one day at a time. It's okay to make slow progress. Um, the overnight successes that we might see or hear about or get celebrated takes a ton of work on the back end or on the front end and everyone's journey is unique and to not to really try to not compare ourselves with others too much and to just compare ourselves with ourselves and to be a little bit gentle with ourselves and to be a little bit more forgiving and compassionate with ourselves and to realize that yeah, everyone's going through their own journey and you know at the end of the day it's the it's the journey that's the reward so you know i try to keep this in mind because it does feel sometimes that things take a while for me and so you know the, there's the part of me that just needs to sit and observe and enjoy the ride for what it is so i hope this quote and this message encourages some of you out there as well to you know take a take some time to get clarity on what it is you are looking for in this life what your values are what your vision is and what you hope to create what what you hope to share and give uh, to the world and uh, to know that you know sometimes it does take a while you know from our perception but looking back it always seems faster than than when we're going through it so that's it I uh, hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoy this little pick, pick me up. And, you know, thank you again for tuning in. If you'd like some specific help, you know, reach out to me. This is what I love to do. So that's it. Have a good day.